The starting point uh, was a starting point that I think everybody uh, at about the age of 30 uh, confronts uh, uh, after they've finished their education and, and preparation to uh, get into the meaningful workforce. And that is, what do I want to do? Or uh, first of all, how can I make a living? Uh, but for a lot of people, the real question is, what can I do that will benefit society and have some kind of real meaning and leave a little footprint in the sand uh, that's going to last after I'm gone? Um, and that's where I was. When we first tried organ transplantation, and of course that was first with the kidney, the results were really not satisfactory and many people thought we should stop. Uh, I didn't agree because uh, the first time that I saw somebody who was at the brink of death and uh, was able to fully recover, uh, I knew exactly what, uh, what I was going to do yeah, for the rest of my life. I came here mainly because I was looking for a refuge or an umbrella of uh, peace that uh, uh, would be, I thought, provided by uh, Henry T. Bonson, who was the uh, chairman of surgery here, one of the uh, most fair, intelligent, and uh, honest people I ever knew in my life. Hank Bonson assured me that I would be able to concentrate on uh, transplantation. Of all the wonders of modern medicine none has captured the public imagination as fully as organ transplantation. These spectacular surgical feats, often involving teams of physicians toiling meticulously for as long as 48 hours, have won headline coverage and created instant heroes of patients and doctors alike. One of those heroes is Dr. Thomas Starzl, who performed the first successful liver transplant in Denver. It was Starzl's team at the University of Pittsburgh's Transplantation Institute that made liver transplants routine and fine-tuned the intricate balance of immunosuppression drugs to fight the rejection of transplanted organs by the body's immune system. Lasker Prize um, is an important prize, and I was very happy to, uh, to get the good news, well, ostensibly for liver transplantation, but I think the uh, prize is for, for much more than that and would include the development of drug therapy, immunosuppressive therapy that's applicable across a whole range of, di of, of organs and also for studies that exposed the mechanisms by which organs can, can be accepted. It, it reflects very well on the university and I think it is an award for the whole Pittsburgh community because the work that led to the prize was done here in an environment that uh, is several levels of humanity above what you might find any, in, in any other city. Although Tom has had other academic homes during his career, Chicago and Denver among them, the name of our city has become inextricably entwined with the name of Tom Starzl and his work in organ transplantation. While Pittsburgh is not where Tom began his remarkable voyage of discovery that has benefited so many people worldwide, it is where his name will be etched forever, not only in the new signs that read Thomas E. Starzl Transplantation Institute, but in our hearts and our minds. Tom, congratulations. Uh, well, I fear that title, uh, not so much that uh, the, the title of uh, being a father of transplantation, not so much because I mind being a uh, a father, but uh, uh, there will be people who resent that and uh, uh, feel that they themselves uh, are either the father or the foster father of transplantation. And I didn't make that claim. Uh, um, so, uh, but I, on, on the other hand, I haven't rejected it. <laughs>
in a small way by naming the Institute today, we recognize not only the role that UPMC has played, but I think the role, even more importantly, you've played in shaping Pittsburgh's image of, the, of what we are today and not what we were years ago to the rest of the world. And we will be forever grateful to you for picking Pittsburgh as the place to do your miracles. Thank you very much.